If your dream is to nestle away in a sequestered home somewhere in the countryside, you are not alone. There are many people that just want to get away from it all. Namely, they want to be able to do that isolating from the comfort of their own homes. The demands of modern life are such that we forget that our homes should be our sanctuaries. Even there, technology vies for our attention with all its bells and whistles. We wake up with a jolt and go to sleep with a hit of white noises. It's no wonder that some people have gotten fed up and just hitched a ride away from it all. They find quiet villas to purchase and live the silent life among the birds and bugs. The following individuals have taken their desire for seclusion to a whole new level with their homes. You might find inspiration when discovering the 16 most amazing secluded homes. Hallig Habel on North Frisian Island, Germany. Hallig Habel is a farm in North Frisian Island. During extreme high tide, the home built there seems to barely resist being engulfed in the ocean waters. It's amazing that the owners are not afraid that one day their abode will be fully submerged. There is also a pond on this property. The shelter was built by hand by Lloyd Kahn. He seems to have the right idea when it comes to escaping to his own private island. The Holy Trinity Monastery in Thessaly, Greece. Nestled in the rocks of Meteora, there is a cluster of six monasteries. One of these monasteries is the Holy Trinity. It is the oldest of the group. It can be reached if you dare the 140 steps up 400 meters. The steps are literally carved into the cliff. Imagine climbing that rocky stairway with no railing. Once you get to the top, you will not only get beautiful ocean views, but you will also be able to overlook the Greek town of Kalabaka. These monks seem to have made it their mission to really pray in secret. Solvay Hut in Switzerland. Here lies a literal mountain hut owned by the Swiss Alpine Club. It is the highest one that the club owns and can only be used in case of emergencies. Although, we are sure that it would be very difficult to reach any squatters to kick them out. It lies at the impressive height of 4,003 meters. It was built in 1915 at the northeast ridge of the Matterhorn. There are 10 beds and it even has a radio telephone. Those climbing the Matterhorn are now much safer thanks to this safe temporary dwelling. Bishop Rock on the Isles of Sicily, Great Britain Bishop Rock is actually an island with a lighthouse built on it. It is the smallest island to have a building on it, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. Interestingly, this building is a second attempt. The first building, started in 1847, was actually swept out to sea. But persistence pays off, and the new lighthouse has stood tall since 1858. We're hoping that no more waves come the way of Bishop Rock. Kachki Pillar in Central Georgia Kachki Pillar is a rock that is 40 meters high. In the 7th century, a Christian group decided to build a church on it. Now the church has just one inhabitant, a monk who serves to upkeep the grounds. Unfortunately though, if you are female, you are prohibited from visiting this church or even climbing the cliff. It's sad that there are still such archaic laws in practice that segregate women from men. This is definitely not a couple's holiday destination. Dunatar Castle in Stonehaven, Scotland Dunatar Castle is one of those romantic spots where you would probably want to go to sightsee. You can do a lot more than that there though, as the castle is even open for film bookings and weddings. Imagine having your dream wedding in this ultra-high private spot. It used to be the home of Earls Mariscal, one of the most influential families in Scotland. It has a rich history which a person could spend hours exploring on the castle's website. Belden Island, Branford, Connecticut. This slice of paradise is currently for sale for 1.5 million. So if you have a little bit of spare cash tucked away, consider purchasing your own island. You will have one acre of your very own island to explore. It's the little touches in life that make this place a steal with its Stony Creek pink granite stone walls. The home was built in 1912, but has been meticulously upkept. You will not be far from the pine orchard yacht, 
or Country Club, which is an added perk to being in your own bubble while still not too far away from a social hub. Just be careful not to give your address out to too many neighbors if you want your home to remain in hiding. Kotisari Island, Rovaniemi, Finland This island contains the lumberjack town of Rovaniemi. It can only be reached through the lumberjacks in Kemajoki. So, if you're in the area, you'll have to reach out to this group to determine whether you are allowed to visit. The lumberjacks used to use the surrounding Kemi and Ona River to float their logs for transport. Thankfully though, they have replaced this method with trucks now. If you do make it to the island, you can always visit the tavern for a drink. Kleine von Insel Mitten in Norway Nestled in the middle of Norway is a small residential island. It is literally a little red home with a gray shingled roof. It has a bathhouse on the shore with the same exterior. Whoever lives here has gone to great lengths to ensure their privacy as not much can be said on the internet regarding the home. We managed to find some nice pictures for you, though. Lago di Sio in Insola di Loreto, Italy. This is a beautiful island that has all kinds of deciduous and evergreen trees. The structure is that of an ancient castle. Fishermen, merchants, and pilgrims all used to congregate here in this very private spot. In 1910, Vincenzo Riccieri built this castle on the island as well as a port and two light towers. It's still a little unclear as to who exactly uses the structure and for what. Cote de Granite Rose, Castle Mur, Perosquirec, France. Here is a little house between rocks of granite on either side. It is also surrounded by a stone wall. Back when it was constructed, there was no such thing as building permits. Over the years, it was used as a summer cabin of sorts. The granddaughter of the original owner settled in this home in 2004. While it used to be open to tourists, the owner has decided to protect the privacy of the retreat. But that doesn't mean that the home is completely protected on all fronts. In March 2008, huge waves almost engulfed Castle Mur. Thankfully, the home has remained intact and the owner still enjoys a relatively sheltered life. Dunbar Rock, Guanaya. This resort is a beautiful spot to frequent. It has everything from snorkeling to good eats. It is located off the island of Guanaya. The private villa is a four-storied retreat with all of the amenities one could want. There is even a private helicopter pad and three custom dive boats. You can rent out the villa with 23 of your closest friends if you really want a private party. Schloss Mauensee in Luzern, Switzerland. This towering estate in Switzerland is almost monolithic. It is in fact referred to as a castle. The forests surrounding it have foxes and deer. Sometimes you can catch a glimpse of them. The town of Circe that is just an hour and a half hike away has refreshments and amenities. Unfortunately though, you cannot go in the castle as a tourist. But we can all be digital tourists through tracking down the photos of Schloss Mauensee. Just room enough island, Canada. Canada is a beautiful country with a lot of sprawling countryside. In the middle of St. Lawrence River, there is just enough room island. It is aptly named as it really only has room for one home. During high tide, the owners often cannot even go out and enjoy their garden as it is submerged. They seem to love their little space away from it all even though they can't have any neighbors. Imagine canoeing down the St. Lawrence and finding this puzzling structure. The Crystal Mill, Crystal, Colorado, USA The Crystal Mill is a power plant that is made of wood. It was built in the 1890s and resides on Crystal River in Colorado. It seems like a bit of a tree house on top of a rock surrounded by a river moat. No one really knows what it looks like inside because it is privately owned. Too bad for us curious sorts that are left with just a small glimpse regarding this whimsical dwelling. Vestmanayar Archipelago on Elide Island, Iceland. This house on the island was originally built for puffin hunters. It is referred to as the most secluded home in the world. The irony of the abode is that it is surrounded by a fence. 
Maybe the owners were planning on bringing a dog to the island at some point? There was plenty of open space on the island that just seems to lay dormant. It's a bit of a mystery as to why the hunters didn't want to build the island up a bit with other structures. From rocky cliffs to sequestered private homes, this top 16 probably surprised you. It astonished us a bit too, as we have never even heard of some of these places. With all that said, there are not too many private homes out there that are famous. If you like looking at the list, then you probably are a bit of a property aficionado. Well, one of the homes is even on the market, so you could join the ranks of the world's most secluded property owners. And you will still have excellent neighbors with the country club folk, unlike some of the other people on the list. There are a lot of people who like to travel across the world to hidden finds. If you are one of these people, then put some of these destinations on your bucket list. They would make fun tourist destinations even if you couldn't go inside the actual home. And you might hear some great stories from the curious locals about the homeowner's past and present. We hope you enjoyed the video. We want to know which one of these houses was your favorite, what made you so intrigued about the particular locale. And if you had a chance, would you go visit? Or would you prefer a vacation with much more crowds and attractions? Let us know in the comments.